Hi friends, my name is Julie. I'm Daryl. Welcome back to our farm. Today we have a little bit of goat maintenance to do. We're gonna do some hoof trims, check them for any parasites, and see what else they need. So we'll take you along with us and show you what we're doing. our herd boss and one of our milkers. So I know that she needs a little hoof maintenance and uh, we have what seems to be a little bit of a staph infection going around on some of the udders right now. So I've been trying to treat that with just chlorhexidine washes and some Neosporin and it seemed to be working at first but now it's coming back and I'm afraid that it's just getting resistant to those antibiotics. So I'm going to try a different strategy where uh, I give them a little bit of a zinc supplement. So she's munching that in her grain right now. And then I'm going to use a diaper cream uh, that also has zinc in it, zinc oxide in it. So hopefully that will help take care of it. It's kind of an experiment. I've never really had to deal with a staph infection before. So we'll see how it goes. Nubian Kiko Cross. She's a really good girl. So she's one that I've been battling the staph infection on for a while and it's really not bad. Uh, it's something I can more feel than show you but you can maybe see these tiny little, uh, stop kicking, these tiny little scabs at the end of her udder. These little red reddish brown dots. Uh, that's where the bumps are. And so I'm washing it with chlorhexidine and trying to scrape those off and express anything that's inside those bumps, any pus, but there's really nothing. But uh, she's got them on both teats and they don't want to go away. So we're going to try the zinc. I'm just giving them uh, one of these 50 milligram zinc tablets, just hiding it in their feed once a day, probably for three days and I'm gonna put the diaper cream on anywhere that they have those bumps. Next in line we have Cheryl. She's also a milker and she is also a Nubian Kiko Cross. Ah! Cheryl here just recovered from a minor case of mastitis and uh, she just in the last few days developed a couple of those little bumps that I think are staff. So we're gonna go ahead and treat her with the zinc as well as get her hose trimmed. Helga. She's an Oberhasli. She came to us from a farm that just couldn't keep her anymore uh, about two years ago and she had two babies this year and she produces a whole lot of milk. She actually came from a commercial dairy originally. So even though she has two babies nursing on her I still have to milk her and I get about a half a gallon extra on top of what they're drinking every day. Most
most of my goats have floppy ears and Helga has these really cute airplane ears that stick out. I love them, but she doesn't like me to touch them. We mentioned today that it is hot. <laughs> really hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Oh. Come on, big rock. Come on. Come on, big boy. Don't be scared. There you go. Come on, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. I know, you don't ever go on here. He doesn't get handled much. <laughs> well, Not like this. He gets pet all the time. He doesn't up, up. You have to go on the stand. Up, up. Come on. There's treats. There's treats, Brock. Come on. Come on, get up. See? <laughs> See, there's treats. You gotta get your big butt up there, though. <laughs> okay, this giant baby is Brock. Uh, he's a weather and he's basically just a pet. We also kept him in case our buck needed a buddy. It's always good to have a nice, calm, reliable weather uh, if you have to separate a goat. So he can live with anybody because he's castrated and he's really chill, so he's good energy for the whole herd. Uh, plus, he's just a sweetheart and we're in love with him, so he's basically going to be our forever goat. So I do a lot of the goat hoof trimming but sometimes you got to call in the expert to deal with these hooves that grow at odd shapes and have odd fold overs julie knows a lot better about how to trim, trim hooves i don't have the hand strength though so i can't do as many as quickly as daryl teach him to leave. I know. <laughs> I know. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Gwen or Vivian, come on. Come on, go. Gwen, you always want to go. Come on. You want treats? They're all suspicious now. Good girl, Gwen. You used to go all the time. You should be good. You know. Good girl. Good girl. See? No, Brock. Good girl. Here. I got the tail. Come on. They're scared of the fence. I know they are. They don't. They don't normally go over the fence. Good girl. At least she knows about the stanchion. Yeah. <laughs> This is Guinevere. We also just call her Gwen. She is a purebred Nubian. I don't know how old she is. She was basically a rescue from a livestock dealer. But she is one of the core members of our herd. She's a very, very sweet, easygoing girl. We just had to wean her baby from last year because he wouldn't stop nursing on her. So she actually didn't get bred this, this past year. And um, I'm really hoping to get her red this year. So 
he's off in our weaning group right now and we're hoping that her udder dries up nicely and that she comes back in heat. Good girl, good jump. <laughs> She's a good jumper. Calypso wants to go. Right there under the tree. Vivian. Vivian, you always want to go. You girls are crazy today. Come on, you want treats? You want treats? Come on, Bev. Hi, Sabrina. Vivian. Hi, Sabrina. Come here, Mama. Bev. Come on, Mama. On her. Okay. Girl, Bev. See, you get treats. You like it. Good girl. So this is Vivian. She is also a purebred Nubian. She came in the same group as Guinevere a couple years ago. And again, I don't know how old she is. I assume she's pretty old. Um, she has given us twins pretty much every year that we've had her. She had uh, mastitis on one side last year, so she kind of has like a dead side on her udder, so we had to supplement her kids this year with the bottle, but uh, other than that, she's been super healthy, and I plan on breeding her again this year, I think, so yeah, she's been a good goat for us. Well, we still have chores to do today. And it's hot, we're sweaty. I think we're gonna call that good. And uh, we'll introduce you to the rest of the goats uh, next time. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see how we use these guys to clear brush, check out this video right here. See ya.